Hello and welcome to Sky World. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp gives in to pressure as Reds show title credentials at Palace. Liverpool came from behind to beat Crystal Palace and move top of the Premier League table. Liverpool came from behind to beat Crystal Palace 2-1 at Selhurst Park in the Premier League on Saturday. Mohamed Salah cancelled out John philippe Mateta's penalty with his 200th goal for the Reds after Jordan O was controversially sent off before Harvey Elliott scored a fine winner. Liverpool were strong favourites against a Palace side who were winless in their last four matches. The visitors dominated large parts of possession but it was Roy Hodgson's team who had the better opportunities in the first half. The deadlock was eventually broken in the 57th minute when VAR adjudged Jarrell Quonsa to have fouled Mateta and the Frenchman did the rest from 12 yards. IA was given his marching orders for a second yellow with 15 minutes remaining and Liverpool almost immediately equalised through Salah. It was backs to the wall stuff for Palace, who lost goalkeeper Sam Johnston late on due to injury. Substitute Elliott came up with the goods for Liverpool in the first minute of stoppage time with a fine strike from outside the 18-yard box to lead Klopp's side to the top of the table. They are now a point clear of Arsenal, who travel to Aston Villa this evening. Express Sport looks at what we learned from a dramatic and controversial match in South East London. Jurgenjen Klopp said as recently as Tuesday that he would not bow down to pressure to play Trent Alexander-Arnold in midfield. He insisted he would not listen to the outside noise and claimed the line of questioning was unpleasant. Alexander-Arnold started in his usual right-back role today, inverting into midfield. But Klopp clearly felt the need to change it at half-time. He took off Wataru Endo and brought on Joe Gomez in his place. That saw Alexander-Arnold move into an out-and-out midfield role that he has played on a number of occasions for England. Klopp was insistent in midweek that discussions about the 25-year-old's position would not influence his selection but it ultimately took just a few days for him to make that change and it will be interesting to see whether it continues.